Okay, quick video about the Mustang shot on my new camera, so I hope I don't bounce around too much for you. I thought I'd give you an update as to where we're at with the 64 and a half Mustang Restore. As you knew, I had uh, significant rust issues all along the back of the car. And bad enough to the point where the whole tail panel, the rear frame rails, the quarter end caps, the trunk drop offs, the wheel, outer wheel houses, I should say, and the quarter skins all needed to be replaced. So, what I thought I would do is make a set of what you see here. Uh, I saw these, uh, I don't know, fixtures for lack of a better term, on a video for a Scott Drake rear quarter panel replacement on a 67 on YouTube. And thought I'd make myself a set of them. And they locate off of the front spring eye. See if I can get that. Maybe, maybe not. And off of where the rear spring eye would be. And this will allow me to pretty much just cut the rear frame rail off where the metal is still good, patch in the replacements, and let that fixture properly locate both the height and distance back from the front spring eye that it should be, which will allow me to locate the trunk drop-offs, the rear braces, the tail panel, all of the rest of it just as it's supposed to be. And I think that was a really cool idea that that person had, and I'm glad I was able to steal it. And I just got that finished. I've been working on it for a couple of weeks. Remember, I only have a couple hours on a weekend to do this. So I got that done. Got the quarter skins off, as you see. Really, I could have taken more off. And I'm going to replace full quarters, just like I see in uh, Joe Daddy's videos. And where he comes in under the joint of the lead to put the quarter panel in there and matches it up and welds it that way. Keeping the filler panel and the gutter were in place, letting the new stuff made up to it. I could have really taken the plasma cutter a little closer because there's really not a lot on the B-pillar plate that is in the way and there's really nothing up here that gets in the way unless you see this brace right here. So I could have come up a lot higher. I also bought a new tool to drill out the spot welds that are here and across the back and across here and I'll just use my plasma cutter to go up the seam weld and cut that off and then grind out that lip. But it needs that on both sides and I have all the metal and right before the 4th of July holiday I think I'll get some time to do it so I may have another video coming up but I really doubt it because the yard's a disaster and I really need to get after the yard. And if I don't, I'll have weeds and other issues. My neighbors are probably already mad as hell about the arborvitae that's pretty much grown against their side door, keeping the side of their house closed off to them. So I've got to do that. But I just thought I'd give you a quick update of where I'm at. And really making this fixture does two things. Number one, it makes me able to cut the back half of the car off for all intents and purposes and put it back on with all new metal, including new quarter skins. But it also is kind of the beginning of the end of the rust fix. That's it. When that's done, it's over. Do I have a few issues to fix? Yes. I have to fix this on the door. So that's some rust. But that's not too hard to do. I don't believe it's bad underneath and on the bottom. I think there's a little bit, but it's not terrible. Uh, and I think that's about it. From there, it's downhill. I got a new fender. And I think, what else did I have? I have two things down at the uh, Blast Guys. I have that blue fender that you used to see hanging out in here that's no longer here. Down at the Blast Guy. Oh, and I have another fender. I have two fenders, one right, one left, that are perfect. So, if or, or require very little work, I should say. Nothing's perfect. But I can use those. And they're 65 fenders. So... I have more than enough sheet metal. I can get this thing done 
it's just a matter of getting it all ready and with this last little bit of rust repair and by the way when you cut off all the the rear of this your car will still be held up by the front spring eye braces and those forward braces so i made those remember to replace the jack stands because the jack stands hit the floor and those grab the pinch weld those are three by three steel with a one foot square base plate the car sits very nicely on them as you can see you can't really see but you can't shake it you can't move it and the car is not heavy to begin with i mean these things are just ultra ultra light which is why they make such fun cars to drive but anyway that's a quick update two things i'm getting done finishing the last of the rust repairs i'll put it back on the rotisserie cherry out the bottom paint it all drop it off the rotisserie and begin the body work so really that's about that time thanks for watching talk to you soon bye